it's Miss Jamie from Play to Learn Preschool. I'm so glad that you are here today for our virtual preschool lesson. While we wait for all of the boys and girls to join us, let's sing Hello, Hello by Miss Nancy. Here's a video of Miss Nancy playing the song and we can sing and do the movements together, okay? Here goes, Hello, Hello. This is Hello, Hello from I Know I'll Grow. Hello, 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 what do you know? Hello, 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 what do you know? Do you know where your head is? Head. Hello, 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 what do you know? Hello, hello. shoulders are shoulders do you know where your head is head hello 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 what do you know hello 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 what do you know do you know where your hands are hands do you know where your shoulders are? Shoulders. Do you know where your head is? Head. Hello. 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 What do you know? Hello. 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 What do you know? Do you know where your tummy is? Tummy. Do you know where your hands are? Hands. Do you know where your shoulders are? Shoulders. And do you know where your head is? Head. Hello, 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 what do you know? Hello, 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 what do you know? Do you know where your knees are? Knees. Do you know where your tummy is? Tummy. Do you know where your hands are? Hands. Do you know where your shoulders are? Shoulders. And do you know where your head is? Head. Hello. Hello. Oh, hello. What do you know? Hello. 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 What do you know? Do you know where your toes are? Toes. Do you know where your knees are? Knees. Do you know where your tummy is? Tummy. Do you know where your hands are? Hands. And do you know where your head is? Head. Hello. It's so much fun to sing together when we start our day. Do you know what else is fun? Waking up Betsy. She's asleep right here behind my board. If I count to three, will you shout, Betsy, where are you? Can you do that? Okay, here goes. One, two, three. Betsy, where are you? I think she's back here. Hello, boys and girls. Good morning! Betsy, should we sing hello to our friends? That's what we're going to do. We'll sing hello to you, and then you can sing hello to us. Sound good? Hello, friends, how are you? Can you sing hello, Betsy? Hello, Betsy, how are you? And can you sing hello, Miss Jamie? Hello, Miss Jamie, how are you? We're so glad to see you here, here. We're all here, here, here. We're all here, here, here. We're all here, we're all here together. Yay! Betsy, all week this week we're learning about weather. Do you know what we're going to talk about today? Do you know, boys and girls? It's raining. 
it's pouring. The old man is snoring. Went to bed and bumped his head and couldn't get up in the morning. Rain! That's what we're going to learn about today. Betsy, I'm going to lay you down so I can talk to the boys and girls and we'll get her back out at the end, okay? See you soon! There are so many songs and poems about rain. I'm going to teach you one now and then we're going to talk about why does it rain and where does all that rain come from? The poem that I'm going to teach you now goes like this. It's all about rain. So these white cumulus clouds, they won't make any rain. The types of clouds that make rain are gray clouds. And we're going to talk about those a little bit. And so here are some raindrops that are going to plop down out of my gray rain clouds. Do you see all the rain? And the poem goes like this. Rain on the green grass, rain on the tree, rain on the house top, but not on me. Look at the little girl she has on her raincoat and her hat and an umbrella so the rain doesn't get on her head. Can you say that poem with me? Rain on the green grass and rain on the tree. Rain on the house top, but not on me. Do you see she has the umbrella up? Good job. One more time and then we're going to change it to do something else. Ready? Rain on the green grass. Rain on the tree. Rain on the house top, but not on me. Good. I like the way you're saying that poem. Let's do another one. Let's do rain on the flowers and rain on the tree rain on the house top but not on me we can change that word instead of green grass we can make it into something new like flowers should we do it again let's see what should it rain on this time how about a gray mouse can you say the poem and we'll make it say rain on the gray mouse okay ready rain on the gray mouse good talking and rain on the tree rain on the house top but not on me good you said that whole poem let's do another one let's do ribbit ribbit how about rain on the green frog can you say the poem and make it say rain on the green frog okay i'm listening i want to hear your voices ready Rain on the green frog and rain on the tree. Good. Rain on the house top, but not on me. Good job, friends. I like the way you said that poem. Would you like to do another one? How about if we make it rain on the <laughs> brown dog? Do you think we can say that? Rain on the brown dog. He doesn't have an umbrella. He's going to get wet on his head. Will you say the poem? Rain on the brown dog and rain on the tree. Good. Rain on the house top, but not on me. The, the little dog needs an umbrella, right? So he doesn't get all wet. Here's the last one. Look at this cute little duck. You see? You get a little beak. Quack, quack. Ducks love rain. The duck won't mind at all if it's raining on the duck's head. Ready? Let's say rain on the yellow duck. Can you say it? Rain on the yellow duck and rain on the tree. Good duck. Good job. Rain on the house top, but not on me. Good! I love the way you said that poem. Next time if you go outside with an umbrella when it's raining, you could say that. You could say, rain on the green grass and rain on the tree. Rain on the housetop, but not on me. Good job. I love the way you're saying that. Well, boys and girls, where does all that rain come from? 
It just falls out of the sky, but where does it come from? Do you know? Let's talk about where the rain comes from. Yesterday, I showed you the pictures of the different kinds of clouds. We learned about these cumulus clouds that make shapes in the sky. Can you say cumulus? Good, those are the ones we learned about yesterday. And we learned about these clouds, which are like a big gray blanket. These are called, do you remember? Stratus, good, say stratus clouds, good. And we learned about the ones that are way high up in the sky. They're so wispy and light like a horse's tail. These are called cirrus. Can you say it? Cirrus. Good. And then the one we're going to learn about today are the clouds that make rain. They're a different kind that I didn't tell you about yesterday. Do you think you can remember another name for clouds? This one. Whoa. Look, they're gray, and all the rain is coming out of them and landing on the grass and the tree. And the name of the clouds that make rain are called nimbus. That's silly. Can you say that word? Can you say nimbus? Yes, these clouds that make rain are called nimbus clouds. Isn't that silly? Nimbus. Yeah, and the rain, it comes from all of the puddles and the lakes and the rivers that are on the ground, when the sun heats up that water, it evaporates up into the sky. It makes little tiny water droplets. And when the water droplets get cold and come together, they get into this nimbus cloud and the rain comes down. There's a really big smart word that is the word for when the rain or the snow comes out of the clouds. Do you think I could teach you that really big word that means rain or snow or hail anytime something comes out of the clouds? Do you think you're smart enough to know it? I know you are. Are you ready for the word? The word is precipitation. What? That's big. Say it again. Precipitation. Mm -hmm. Say it one more time. Precipitation. That's when the rain comes out of the clouds. It's called precipitation. Whew, that's a really big word. But I bet if you go outside and it's raining and you say to your grown-up, Wow, grown-up, look at all that precipitation. Your grown-up's eyes are going to go like this. Oh, what? You're so smart. How did you know the word precipitation? Yeah, you could trick them. You could say, I know big words like precipitation. Good job. We're going to do something different over here on the board today. So I need you to turn on your thinking cap. Usually we play games and look for hiding things and try to look for patterns. And today we're going to do something a little bit different. But I know how smart you are. And I know that you are going to be able to do this. So what we're going to do here, we're going to make some patterns. And the way that we make patterns is we look at pictures and we try to make them the same over and over again. I'll show you what I mean. So this pattern is going to go like this. Rain boots. Cloud. Can you see that? Let's see if I can turn the camera. Ooh, perfect. There we go. Rain boots. Cloud. And then we're going to do it again. Rain boots, cloud. Can you say the pattern? Rain boots, cloud. Rain boots, cloud. What comes next? Rain boots. Yes, you knew the pattern. And do you think you could do one more? What comes after that? We'll say it together. Ready? Rain boots, cloud. Rain boots, cloud. Rain boots, Tell me really loud so I can hear you all the way here in Virginia. Cloud, you're right. Cloud comes next. We made a pattern over and over again. Rain boots, cloud. Rain boots, cloud. You did it. You're so smart. I could hear you, Lila. I could hear you, Ava and Sophia. I could hear you, Grace and Arabella and Cameron and Annalise. I could hear you guys. You're doing such a good job. Should we try another? 
pattern. Okay, so we're done with this one. Let's do another pattern. Let's do this one. This is going to go like this. Raindrop hat. Yes, if you have a hat, the raindrop won't get on your hair. Ready? Raindrop hat. Raindrop hat. Yes, you're right. And what comes next if we keep going over and over again? Ready? Raindrop hat. Raindrop hat. What comes next? I hear you. I hear Aiden and Hudson. I hear you, Max. Yes. I hear Charlotte. I hear Emily. I hear Brayden. I hear you guys. It is the raindrop. Good. Let's say it again. Raindrop hat. Raindrop hat. Raindrop. What comes next? Do you know the pattern? Oliver knows, Kennedy knows, Izzy knows, it's the hat. You're right. We made a pattern. Let's say it together again. Raindrop hat. Raindrop hat. Raindrop hat. You did it. You are so smart. Boys and girls, I'm so proud of you. Do you think we could try another pattern? Do you think we could do another one? All right, let's try this one. This one is a pattern of umbrellas. What color is this umbrella? Green. Yeah, we learned the sign for green a long time ago in virtual preschool. Good. Green. And what color is this one? Pink. Yeah, and the sign for pink is tricky. Pink. Green. Pink. Green. What comes next? Pink. You're right. Say the pattern. Green. Pink, green, pink. What comes next? Yes, I hear you saying it, Grady and Ainsley and Colton. I hear you. You said green, good. Green, pink, green, pink, green. What comes next? What is it? Caroline, I hear you. Ellie, Maggie, Vivian, I hear you. August, Cooper, what comes next? <gasps> I can hear you all shouting, pink. You're right. Say the pattern. Green, pink. Green, pink. Green, pink. I can hear all of you saying the right answer. You're so smart, boys and girls. Ooh, I'm proud of you. And then when the rain is over, do you know what happens? The sun comes out. So our last pattern is going to be a, sort of a silly one. It's going to go like this. Sun, puddle, because when the rain is done, there might be some puddles on the ground. Sun, puddle, what comes next? Yes, you're right, I can hear you. Sun, Eli, I hear you. Grayson, I hear you. JT, Xavier, I hear you. You're right, puddle, let's say the pattern. Sun, puddle, sun, puddle. Yes, you're right, Holly, Grace, and I hear you guys. Sun, Cole, I hear you. Good job, friends. Gregory, I hear you. Good job. And the last one is, Nora, I heard you say it, puddle. We made another pattern. Sun, puddle, sun, puddle. Sun, puddle. Wow, you did such a great job making those patterns. Your brain deserves two kisses. Mwah, mwah. Mm, brain, that was so smart. I'm very proud of you, boys and girls. The next thing that we're going to do is I'm going to read you one of my very favorite rain books. This is about a little puppy named Newton. And Newton wants to go outside and splash in the puddles. But something terrible happens to his pet alligator named Snappy. I love this story, it's so cute. With Newton and the Big Mess by Rory Tiger. Newton and the Big Mess. Newton really wants to go outside and go splashing with Snappy, but something terrible happens. Do you see him giving Snappy a hug here? What do you think might happen that's terrible that they can't go outside and splash in the puddles? Can you make a prediction? 
What might happen so that they can't go outside? Do you see poor Snappy here and Newton? What is going to happen in this story? Let's read and find out. Pitter, patter, plip, plop. It was raining. Look, Snappy, said Newton. Lots of big puddles to jump in. What fun! Let's go splish splashing. I'll get my coat and rain boots and then we'll be ready. Newton found his raincoat and umbrella hanging by the door. Then he found one rain boot. That's strange, Snappy, he said. I'm sure I was wearing both boots the last time I went splashing. Where can the other one be? Newton looked for his rain boot all over the house. He looked in the toy box. He looked under the bed. He even looked in the bed, but he couldn't find it anywhere. I know, said Newton. It must be in the cupboard under the stairs. Uh-oh, look under there. What a mess. Newton pulled open the cupboard door a little bit and peeked inside. It was very dark. He saw a huge jumble of shapes. Don't be scared, Snappy, he said. I'll turn on the light. Newton opened the door and gasped. When you gasp, you go like this. <gasps> Can you gasp? Oh, uh oh. <laughs> That's a good gasp. Oh my, he said. Come on, Snappy. I'm going to need your help. Newton waded into the clutter and started searching for the missing rain boot. Where could it be? What's going to happen to poor Snappy? Newton searched deeper and deeper in the cupboard, flinging things over his shoulder as he went. Bat! Wee! Bonk! Ooh! Yuck! A smelly sock! Wee! Splat! Sorry, Snappy! Rubber duck! Wee! Boing! Bounce! Newton stopped and held up a shiny red rain hat. I thought I'd lost that, he said. At last, in the deepest, darkest part of the cupboard, Newton found the missing rain boot. Hooray! I knew it was here, he cried. Now let's go quickly before the rain stops and the puddles go away. What terrible thing is going to happen? Oh no, Dominic, I think I like your prediction. What's going to happen? Newton pulled on his rain boot and looked at his shiny red feet. Then he looked around him. What a mess we've made, Snappy, he said. But there's no time to clean up now. We can do it later. Newton threw everything back into the cupboard as quickly as he could. He leaned against the door and with a huge heave, he shut it. Okay, Snappy, let's go splashing, Newton cried. Oh no, oh no, Snappy, Snappy, where is his Snappy? Oh no, what's going to happen? Newton looked around, but he guessed where Snappy must be. He'd stuffed him into the cupboard by mistake. Newton looked anxiously at the door. There was only one thing to do. Don't worry, Snappy, I'm coming in to rescue you. Newton took a deep breath and turned the door handle as gently as he could. Do you think he'll be able to find Snappy? Do you think he will? Snappy might be lost in that messy cupboard forever. Wham! Bang! Crash! Everything came tumbling out of the cupboard, covering Newton like a huge wave. Yikes, said Newton. I thought that might happen. What a mess he has in the closet there. Can you spot Snappy? Where did his Snappy go? Oh no, he might be lost forever. 
As Newton scrambled to his feet, he saw just what he needed. It was a shiny helmet. Emergency! Newton to the rescue, he called, and he set to work cleaning up the cupboard. Can you spot Snappy? Crash! Bang! Clatter! Clunk! Soon there were only a few things left in the cupboard and Newton was getting worried. He was sure that Snappy was lost forever. Oh, poor Snappy, where could he be? Oh, do you think he'd be able to find him and go splish splashing? Newton picked up an old coat and was about to throw it away when he spotted something. What do you see? <gasps> Snappy, is that you, he said. Newton looked closer and sure enough, there was Snappy. Hooray! Newton gave Snappy a, the biggest hug. Poor Snappy, he said, all because of this big, big mess. I don't ever want to lose you again. Then something amazing happened. Newton started to put things away, and he didn't stop until everything was tidy and in its proper place. Now, Snappy, he said, let's go splashing. Hooray! He found him. And so they did. Do you see Newton with his rain boots and coat and rain hat? And he has to put the umbrella down so he and Snappy can splash in the puddles. Isn't that fun? Have you ever splashed in the puddles after a rainstorm? That's a really fun thing to do. It's even more fun if you have rain boots. Yeah. If you don't, it's okay too. Sometimes you can just put on sandals and go splashing, yes? Boys and girls, I have a project for you to do after virtual preschool is over. And this project is coming this way. Oh, here it is. Come here, project. All right, let's see if we can see it. Yep. Okay. In the play pack that I sent to your moms and dads and your grown-ups in their printers, there's a page that looks like this. And it says to look out your window, or if you're allowed to go outside and look in the yard, you can look up at the sky and paint a picture or draw a picture of what you see when you look outside your window. So I want you to look and see what kind of clouds are out there. Are there any clouds? Or maybe it's just sun. Maybe you'll see some cumulus clouds, or maybe you'll see some stratus clouds, or those really high cirrus clouds, or maybe it's raining and you'll get to see some nimbus clouds. And you can make a picture of what you see outside. If you have watercolors, this is a really fun project to do with watercolors because the water can be like rain. To use watercolors, you have to get your brush really wet. It won't work if it's not wet. And then you stir the paint with your brush. Stir, 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 stir. And you can see how the brush has all the paint on it. And we could paint a picture of what we see outside like some blue clouds. I might wash off my brush. Maybe I'll make some green grass. I have to swirl my brush around, swirl it, swirl it, swirl it. So there's so much paint on my brush and I can paint some green grass. Yes, or you, if you don't have the paints, you could use crayons or markers or colored pencils. You can use whatever you have at home. And when you're done, you have to rinse your brush off. Maybe I'll make a yellow sun up in the sky. Let's see, can I get lots of yellow paint on there? Yep, I'm gonna make a yellow sun right over here on my paper. Yes, and so you can paint a picture or make a picture of what you see outside your window. What does the weather look like at your house? And I would love to see a picture of what you create. Maybe your grown-up can take a picture and share it with me. I would love to see your work. Well, friends, it is just about time for us to say goodbye for today. I think we should call Betsy and get her out. And then you can throw her some bird seed. On the count of three, will you say, Betsy, come back. Ready? One, two, three. Betsy, come back. <gasps> 
Did you love learning all about the rain and the rain clouds? Mm -hmm, me too. Thank you for coming to preschool today, but now it's time for us to sing goodbye. Are you ready? Preschool time is over now, over now, over now. Preschool time is over now for another day. Wave goodbye to all of our friends, all of our friends, all of our friends. Wave goodbye to all of our friends. It's time to stay home and play. Hip, hip, hooray! Reach into your pockets. I'm hungry today. And grown-ups, remember that you can print your free play pack. There's a link in the video description. It has play ideas and four pages of practice activities for your child's name, letters, fine motor, and numbers or math. So make sure you print your free play pack every day in the video description. Okay, boys and girls, do you have a big handful of, of bird seed? Betsy's going to catch it on the count of three. One, two, three. Ah. <coughs> Thank you so much. And Betsy's going to blow you a kiss. See if you can catch this. Did you catch it? Stick it to your cheek. Put some glue so it stays all day and give yourself a big hug from Miss Jamie and Betsy. We will see you again tomorrow. Bye friends.